Okay, Jordan Mulata of the South Sydney Rabbitohs in the NRL has been drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles uh, in the NFL at 233rd overall in the NFL entry draft. Now, I've never really followed the NFL entry draft, and I'm, I'm not really a massive follower of NFL. I will watch it. I don't mind watching the ground. I like supporting the Green Bay Packers and seeing how they do every year and seeing if they can win another Super Bowl. Um, that's uh, the limit of where I really go. Um, I'm not a hardcore fan. I'm a casual viewer. This says something to me, that, that both codes of rugby, both league and union, and though they are differences, and, and a lot of Americans didn't realise the difference between league and union at first. They actually got very confused when watching a rugby league clip and then follow it by the rugby union clip. They, they just couldn't, you know, they got very, very confused. It's, they're, they're distinct codes of the same sport. And we could argue about league and union and, and, you know, which is better. But this says to me that in the US, the respect and the growth of the game is there. Clearly, the NFL has taken up and taken stock that they need to have more competitiveness in the major league sports because it keeps them fresh and on their toes. You don't want to kill off the sport. Oh, no, 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 because that doesn't create competitiveness to make your game better. They've clearly been scouting these guys. Otherwise, you know, they wouldn't have drafted this guy. They wouldn't have allowed Jared Hayne to come over. They've clearly done their homework. Now, the Jared Hayne experiment at San Francisco, we can argue whether that went well or badly and the pros and cons of his his move. This one isn't making such controversial headlines. George Malatia is a interchange forward for the Rabbit Eyes. He's a massive ball carrier. You just have to type his name in on YouTube and watch him smash through people. He is a huge unit. He's not a small man. He's 6'4 and about 20 stone. If you're working in stones, I don't know what that is in pounds but, or kilos, but that's, that is just a lot. Um, about 120 kilos, I think. 130 kilos, something like that. He's a big boy. Basically, he's double my weight. Yeah, he's big. Um, clearly, the Eagles have done their scouting. Their development scouts and their development team and their scouting team have clearly watched him for a while now in the NRL. They've clearly sent a scout out to games and training sessions, and they've been having discussions with the Rabbitohs to bring this guy over to America at the end of his contract. Scouting is a big part of... of a, a league with a draft. The same with the NHL, same with Major League Baseball, you have a lot of scouting because a lot of these are either youth players or minor league players and you want to see if they're going to develop or they're going to fit into the Major League team. Now the NFL doesn't have a minor league affiliate. It is straight from college or high school into the big league. So the fact they're going to, they've scouted this guy who's never played American football before, he's a rugby player, says to me they, they see something in his rugby game, be it his ball carrying, his tackling, um, his movement and when you know he's lining up, take a pass. They've seen something that he can bring to their organisation. Now, if you follow American New Rugby Union and American Rugby League, a lot of their players at some point have played high school or collegiate American football and have been converted to league or union. That happens all the time because American Rugby Union and American Rugby League are growing sports in the US. The NFL is obviously one of the most established sports in the North American continent. And it's been around for a very long time. So, because rugby union, rugby league, they're, they're getting there, they're growing. Now, rugby union's been played by the US for a long, long time, but they're just they're now really having an explosion of growth of interest and participation in the game. Same with rugby league, there's a growth of interest and participation in the game. Hence, Major League Rugby can be set up in rugby union and the Toronto Wolfpack and a, and a future New York team in the Super League structure. That's saying to me, that the American sporting fan bases and the American, you know, the American consciousness is really now picking up more and more on both codes of rugby. This is a sign of respect to rugby that they're going, this guy is better than collegiate American football players. We will draft him above them. Because I don't know how the deep the draft goes in the NFL. I don't know how many rounds there are and how many draft picks you get. But 233rd overall is not a bad bit of game for someone who's never played the game before, who's a rugby league player. If he's actually been drafted ahead of American football players, that will say something to me. That shows the level of respect another sport has for rugby in America. So I think this is more of a, a confirmation that I already knew that, that both kinds of rugby were growing apace in America. They're growing very quickly. And, and the, I hope Major League Rugby is a success. And I hope um, when the New York team there are plans for a New York team in, in Rugby League to take effect in the Super League structure. I hope they're a success as well. Um, they have to be.
um, in, in order for, the, for both codes of the game to keep growing and for the sport to really America is an untapped market for rugby. I'm very surprised the Americans have never tried to bid for a rugby union or rugby league world cup because they've got the stadiums that they could fill. And I clear I, I do believe they have the fans there. I really, really honestly believe that. I believe they have almost an untapped fan base. I really do believe that. Um, but this is an interesting story because it's a rugby league player going to the NFL. Now, whether he actually does play any game time and he actually, you know, makes it through training camp and um, gets to play any regular season games, we'll wait and see over the next year or so. But this is a shift in the respect, the respect level of rugby union and rugby league in the American consciousness. Because you've got the big four and then you've got Major League Soccer at five. So you've got NHL, which is ice hockey, Major League Baseball, basketball in the NBA, and the NFL in American football, and then Major League Soccer at five, and then you've got Major League Rugby now, now come in with that Major League name, moniker, to a league. And we'll have to see how that league grows. But to me, this is a sign of respect from, from the big league to you know the, the junior league saying, look, we respect your sport. They do. And I think it's a bit of like trepidation and fear in the NFL. Um, but to me, that that's where I think this is going. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, post your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.